Today, Kevin and I are going to be trying the Sea Point Farms Mighty Little Crunchy Corn. I have the pink Himalayan salt. This one's salted butter, and this one's zesty ranch. These were $3.99 a bag at Kroger, $3.99 for a four ounce bag. Uh, it says there's a new kernel in town. Mighty Little Crunch Corn is made with simple and real ingredients that pack just the right crunch. Artisan crafted small batches of specialty variety non-GMO corn are blended with our favorite seasonings to create the perfect snack. Crunchy on the outside with a light and airy center. Enjoy life, eat well. Better than popcorn, better than corn nuts. Um, made with whole grain. Uh, they are packed in Huntington Beach, California. It's www.seapointfarms.com. There's four servings per container. A third cup, 30 grams, is 150 calories. So, and they are resealable. Ooh, I can I can already smell the popcorn when I oh. immediately when I open that it smells it smells like popcorn. It smells really good. Mm. It smells mm. like a corn snack. Corn, yeah, it smells like corn, yeah. Ooh, yeah, look at that piece of corn right there. I can see where they would say better than corn nuts because corn nuts are really hard. Mm -hmm. These are softer. Mm. They're still crunchy, but they're not hard. This would remind you of like those a, pieces of corn that you get in a trail mix. Yeah, kind of like a dried corn, but they're, they're a little less hard. Yes, um, I do like the uh, the flavor of the salt. Mm -hmm. it's, it's, nice. it's light, but it's there. It's mm -hmm. not like overly salty. Um, I think it's enough though. I do too. If you don't like, yeah, as <coughs> long as you're not expecting something really, really salty, mm -hmm. I think it's plenty. Yep, it's really nice. And you definitely want to keep eating and eating. So there's supposed to be four servings in this bag. I don't know about that. <laughs> That'd probably be two. Because I could eat a lot of that. Probably two, maybe three. I might, I might spread it out to three if I, if I really push it. Okay, so this one is the salted butter. What do you think about holes or the skins of the I'm not getting corn. any at all. No, That's I get, why I didn't mention I got one. I didn't get any whatsoever. But it's not hard like popcorn. Like popcorn, it's hard. It like shoves between your teeth. This is a softer texture, so it doesn't get shoved in your teeth. You just get it in your mouth. Basically. Yeah, I didn't mention it because I didn't get any that at that time. Now, I might with these other ones. Uh, but it's just, uh, it's crunchy, but it's not hard. Right. Okay, so salted butter. This is um, same calories, 150. Mm. A little bit of butter flavor. I'm not getting it. It's just very light. Well, if you compare that to one of these, there's a difference. Okay. In the flavor. They don't taste quite as, the butter don't taste quite as corny as the salted ones. But they no. also don't have as much salt, so. Exactly. For me, I'm not getting the butter and I'm not getting any salt whatsoever. So I'm sure they put salt in it, but I'm not getting salt. I like the pink Himalayan, and I uh, never thought I would say that because, hey, who doesn't like butter, right? I thought for sure I would like butter, but it's like they didn't put any salt in it. It's like... It's very light. The sodium in this one is 230 milligrams. This one's 190. I don't know how that can be. <laughs> I really don't. And they, they must be because the butter has salt. No. I don't know, but this one does not taste salted. It doesn't. It doesn't taste as salty. And you do, I do get, I get the butter flavor, but it's not strong butter flavor. It's just a very light. It's not like movie theater butter popcorn where it's really heavy. This one, this one sounds interesting. is Zesty Ranch, same calories. Ooh, and you can see the little uh, spices on top. Mm -hmm. Well, garlic powder. Mm -hmm. Tastes good. Onion deal. powder. I was gonna say, I don't see dried parsley or dehydrated parsley. It does not say dill, but that's what I'm tasting mm -hmm. is dill. Which ranch has dill. Um, that reminds me a lot of like a Hidden Valley Ranch, the powder mm -hmm. that you make your own dressing or your own uh, dips and stuff with. 
That reminds me of that flavor. The texture of those is different. You think so? Yeah, they're easier to eat. They're not they're not as crunchy. They're a little softer. Yeah, I I think they're much softer. Those are so so like the other ones were crunchy and it's not a bad thing because that's what you expect. This one it, it, almost, to get it almost seems like uh it's puffier um um, so it's still crunchy, but it's not as crunchy as the other ones. I think it's a lot easier to eat. Yeah, it depends on what you get. Like if you get one of those solid ones, it's a little more crunchy. Ah, it is. Yeah, but if so you get I'm one of these ones a... that's really exploded, oh, wow. then they're soft. I must have just gotten all ones that were exploded. Yeah. Um, but it's good. I like the ranch flavor in there. It's really nice. It's really nice, but you come away with mainly dill. Mm -hmm. So if for some reason you don't like dill's not your thing, then you probably won't like these because that is what you do. Not like pickle dill though. It's not no. quite that strong. But it's like but dill, it's, it's, it's a dill, it, well, it's dill yeah. weed. Yeah. yeah, that's what it is. Um, I really like these. Um, mm -hmm. I think these would probably be my favorite. But then I'm going with the pink Himalayan salt yeah. and the butter. I just I wouldn't buy the butter again. The salt would be my favorite. The pink Himalayan salt, yeah. yeah. Uh, that one, it's so close between that and this one. Yeah, uh, they're really good. Because it's really good, and those those with the pink Himalayan salt, they just have a really nice flavor as well. Mm -hmm. It's like there's something else in there besides the salt. Yeah. Because it's given it a little bit of a spice that the second one didn't have at all. And, and you, the corn really comes through too, mm -hmm. in the first one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, oh, it's definitely worth buying. I think they're out. definitely a good snack. Um, I wish they weren't three ninety nine dollars a bag, but I, I don't know if you can get these at Walmart or someplace cheaper or not. I just happened to see them in the snack aisle at Kroger, and uh, and I thought, oh, that's something we've never tried before, so I wanted to try them. Uh, so hopefully you can find them somewhere and get them a little bit cheaper, uh, but I definitely think they're, wor they're worth uh, buying. Yeah, oh yeah. Worth trying. 100% right. Ready, good to try out if you're, if you're on the fence about them. And you see them, go for it because I, th I think you'll like it. I got one hole. Yeah, they're they're kind of like I said. One hole. They're not like really shoved into your teeth. They're no. more just like floating around. It was just like <laughs> laying on the side of my gum. Yeah. That's yeah. where it was. So it it's not near as bad as like when you're eating popcorn. Right. It doesn't get all stuck in your teeth. Right. So I hope you enjoyed the video and thanks for watching.